Hello there. Today, we're going to learn how to create a quick and easy pyro simulation setup. You can use any source you like, such as a box, a sphere, or even a character like the pig. However, for this tutorial, we'll be using a sphere. Houdini has a preset called Pyro Configure Billowy Smoke, which is incredibly useful for creating quick and easy setups. When you create the preset, Houdini will create all the necessary nodes and attributes for the Pyro Solver to run correctly. We'll use our own source, so delete the first node, the torus, and connect our sphere. The sphere is already set as a polygon with a frequency of 9. Now, create a mountain node to add more variation. Play around with the amplitude and element sizes until you get a shape you like. To make it even more interesting, add the function $t and multiply it by a low number like 0.1 or 0.5. Make sure to use a dot instead of a comma. Now run the simulation using the new source and you'll immediately see a different shape. We can see the smoke spawning under the ground level, so let's fix it. Click on the bounds tab, open the boundary conditions, and change treat Y as from open to close below. This will fix the issue. To make interesting shapes with the smoke, I encourage you to try different values in the shape and fields tabs. Experiment with different noise parameters, wind directions, and, very importantly, different dissipation parameters. Spend some time with these values so you can understand what they do. An extra tip node is the gas disturb. Open the pyro solver node and create a gas disturb. This will create an extra layer of noise and help you make a more uneven shape, which will, in turn, look more realistic. In the pyro bake volume, choose the color and density level you want. Basically, how thick or thin you want the smoke. Finally, in the setup tab, you can reduce the voxel size to get more details in the simulation. But be aware that this will affect the performance, so try not to go too low. 0.05 is a good number. Experiment. As an additional tip, if you'd like to use this simulation in Unreal Engine, you can do the following. Make a file cache node and change the cache type from BGO, SC to VDB. This is the format that Unreal Engine uses to read volumes. In Unreal, you will need a plugin called OpenVDB. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment or contact me on my social media.